again. The Prime Minister campaigning to fill a gap in Parliament. Enjoyed it? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. In a state that might be facing another gap in the energy market. Gas supply to the southeastern states of Australia is declining at a faster rate than uh, gas demand. According to the Australian energy market operator, we should have just enough in the tank to last till 2027. But if weather conditions turn extreme, New South Wales, the ACT, Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania are all at risk of winter gas supply shortfalls every year from 2023 to 2026. Those shortfalls might exist when there's ultra high demand on both the power system, so gas for power system, as well as gas for heating. Gas supply in South Australia is declining faster than projected demand. And total available Victorian gas production is forecast to fall by 16% this year compared to last. By 2027, it's expected to be almost half of what it produced in 2022. We're calling for investment uh, in new sources of gas supply. Last year, the federal government managed to secure extra supply from exporters to address a forecast shortfall. We'll work to do that again uh, on the basis of this AEMO report with the suppliers and we will work to ensure that there will be enough supply. One option is diverting gas exports, but there's a catch. Contractual obligations need to be honoured and we can't be a country that tears up contracts uh, uh, unconscionably. The Greens want the government to ban all new gas and coal projects in exchange for supporting Labor's climate policy. But the minister is standing firm. It would be irresponsible to rule out new gas uh, when we have this important transition underway. And gas is an imp important and vital underpinning, because it's so flexible, of our transition to 82% renewables. Everything the Labor government has done has led to killing gas, and Australians are paying the price. For a government that came to power promising to tackle cost of living, more pressure on the household budget through higher gas prices is awkward. And in the absence of market intervention, the government will have to consider bolstering household assistance in the May budget. Nabil Nashar, ABC News, Canberra.